It took me 24 hours, 51 minutes, and 34 seconds to finish the second draft of my screenplay. If it fits! My screenplay. The word screenplay feels tainted to me. I think we need to call it something else. Yeah, I'm uh, working on my screenplay. Blech. Anyway, this is the second entry in my This Little Piggy production diary. I'm writing in my diary about my screenplay. Where I'm documenting the eventual making of my film, This Little Piggy. 24 hours, you say? That's great. You knock that out in what, a week? Maybe two? <laughs> no, no, dear friend. I appreciate your faith in me, but I started working on the second draft of This Little Piggy on Monday, November 22nd, 2021. That's 155 days from start to finish, which means I only spend, on average, about 10 minutes per day working on this thing. That's not enough time. Don't get me wrong, it's enough time if that's all the time you have, but that's not all the time I had. Who am I kidding? The good news is, I think I discovered my problem and a potential solution. I am a very task-oriented person. If you've seen any of my other videos, you can probably tell that I love a good plan. I love checklists and Asana boards, which is great in a lot of ways. It helps me stay organized and get a lot of stuff done during the week while still managing to have a life outside of my computer. I even track all my time, which is how I knew how long it took me to finish that second draft. I use a free platform called Clockify and Listen, I understand that to a lot of people, time tracking sounds like some kind of fascist nightmare. And you're not wrong. I have experienced that in some places I've worked. However, I will say when you're doing freelance creative work, it's a really useful tool to figure out a rough estimate of how long things will take you so that you can set realistic expectations with clients and for managing your own expectations with how much you can realistically get done in a day. So just try it. Just, just try it. Go ahead. Go ahead, try it. Come on. Okay. But problems can arise with a big amorphous project like a screenplay. My screenplay. Things without any kind of real deadline. Because what does done really look like? And yes, I can set my own deadlines, but I know those deadlines aren't real. I can blow past self-imposed deadlines and very easily rationalize it to myself. I need more time to create. My point is there's so much to get done during the day that my mind tends to talk myself out of the tasks that are too open-ended and focus on things I know I can complete. The things I know I can check off my list. So, so, part one of what I did was I started giving myself a mandatory deadline of writing one sentence per day. One sentence. How could I not write one sentence every day? That way I could appease the task monster inside my brain and check something off my list. And since the actual act of starting is oftentimes the hardest part, I would inevitably, I would inevitably, hmm, shouldn't have wrote that word. I would inevitably write way more. I would inevitably write one, I would inevitably write way more than just one sentence. My schedule has been weird ever since we had our second child. I used to have a very strict morning routine, but that very much changed when our daughter was born. And around the same time, I quit my nine to five. It has been a learning process or a relearning process of how I handle my days. I thought that my best option was after my abbreviated morning ritual, diving right into any client work that I had to get done. My morning hours between four and 7 a.m. are my best hours, my most focused and productive. And so I thought it was best to start with that work. I'll finish this and then I can get my writing done in the afternoon when all of these tasks are completed. And when all of those tasks were completed, I would say to myself, well, I might as well get started on these next tasks for tomorrow. Then, then I'll have lots of time to write because I'll be so far ahead. I'll just write as much as I would today, tomorrow. It's amazing how many times your mind can trick you into thinking something. I'll definitely write tomorrow because tomorrow, Chris, is much better than today, Chris. And I'm taking care of all these tasks for tomorrow, Chris. Tomorrow, Chris, better get his shit together and get to writing. Needless to say, tomorrow, Chris, kept doing the same thing as today, Chris. So, the fix. Like I said, I like to wake up at around 4 a.m. Like to is probably too strong. I love having that time in the morning, but if I had my brothers, I'd probably sleep till 7 a.m. And lately, it's really been closer to 5.30. My family starts to need me about 7 a.m., so I have dedicated those hours, 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., to writing. Nothing else. And it's worked. Most of that second draft was finished in the last week or two of writing. Honestly, it's pretty easy in those quiet, early morning hours before the rest of the world has started to ask for my attention. In fact, I'm writing this right now.
And the funny thing is, I'm still right where I was with client work. Losing those two or three hours in the morning hasn't affected that work at all. So now that draft two is complete, I'm putting it aside for a month. I think on the second draft, I got to the heart of who these characters are and really define them in ways I hadn't on the first pass. But now going into the third draft, I need to isolate each scene and really make sure that each one, each scene has a purpose in the story and that it's all driving towards the conclusion. Even as I was writing, there were some moments that felt a little aimless, like what, what is this scene really doing? But that's for June Chris to figure out. And that is it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, do all the things with the bells and the whatnots, and I will see you next week. Hey everyone, and welcome to my end screen. Here you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure to turn on alerts. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. You can check out some of my films here or click on this other thing that I have linked out to. Bye.